Hi, everybody, and welcome to this free training on seven systems that you need for predictable profit and peace of mind in your weight loss practice. I'm Carol Clark. I am the owner of Weight Loss Practice Builder, and I also run the very popular membership for busy weight loss physicians and their teams called Bariatric Business Boss. And I'm going to share with you a training. This was actually done in very great detail in the membership, but I want to go through it with you as well because it was so helpful for the members that are inside of there. So the seven systems that you need, let's go ahead and get going. The great thing about these seven systems is that it can turn overwhelm and chaos into peace and prosperity. And you may think this is not really feasible. I can just barely keep up every single day with what's going on in my office in terms of my team, potentially staff turnover, no shows, or just being so busy. You can hardly think straight in terms of identifying what your vision is and how you really want this practice to best serve your patients and best serve you and your team. But these seven systems, having them in place can make the difference night and day and really truly turn overwhelm and chaos into peace and prosperity. It is very feasible. And the truth is once you turn overwhelm and chaos, once you get a grip on that, actually peace and prosperity just naturally follows. So for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Carol Clark and I am here in Newport News, Virginia. And not only do I run Weight Loss Practice Builder and Barrier to Business Boss, but I am in the trenches just like you in my husband's practice, Dr. Thomas Clark. And we have a business here called Center for Weight Loss Success. And we offer surgical weight loss, medical weight loss, and we also offer nutritional counseling. Uh, we have a full fitness center, and we also have a very robust retail store here. So so we can offer everything under one roof for our patients, whether they want to lose five pounds or, you know, hundreds of pounds. And this was not built overnight. It was built over, you know, I've been doing this for a couple of decades. And so I love our team here and I love the patients and I love the fact that we do enjoy coming to work and that our patients, their outcomes exceed national averages. And my biggest thing right now is I love helping other physicians do the same in their practice. So here's where we are here in Newport News, Virginia. And this is just a building. It's nothing unless you have a great team and of course the patients that you serve in your practice. So this is so uh, feasible for practices and I love helping them attain that. I've also written a number of best-selling books. Uh, they're available on Amazon, but I like to just really take this and do it very simply for practices as a just education or done with you or done for you. And one of them is Five Profit Engines of a Success bariatric surgery practice, another one, how to add medical weight loss into your practice. I also help physicians with uh, publishing. And, and then on, my, on the side, I've, I love having a fulfilled life. And also Build to Grow is more of a marketing book. So I, I like I say, I've been doing this for a couple of decades, uh, and I just thoroughly enjoy it. And now my dream, my passion is to truly help physicians and their teams, not only help their patients, but really, enjoy what it is that they do every single day and not only bring in gross revenue, but actually recognize and receive true profit and also how to build predictable profits. And a lot of that comes through measurement. It comes through your marketing, all those sorts of things. But I'm a realist. I like to know that I have a return on investment before I invest. And I know what it's like to have a practice that's bringing in a lot of money. I know what it's like to be in those gross spurts where perhaps the owners are not not taking much of a salary at all. I know how it is to survive and thrive in a pandemic, just like many of you have had to figure out. Uh, but doing this together is so much more fun. So my passion really is for those physicians and their teams. I just hate to see physicians burnt out. I love to see their patients, you know, doing well. And I love to help bring that whole picture together for them. The seven systems that I am addressing today are the seven systems that really can create that peace for you and also it's peace of mind and also predictable profits in your practice. And who doesn't want a little bit more of that? So the seven systems I'm going to review here is your team, 
your marketing, your finances, your revenue streams, your retail sales, your referral program, and your patient education. Having these seven systems buttoned up makes a huge difference. And even if you don't have any of them set up, the important thing is to pick one and go with it. And I always encourage people to pick with the one that creates the most frustration for them. So we go ahead and dive into that. And these seven systems, I'm going to go over and I don't want you to get overwhelmed. We're going to go through it in a very uh, systematic fashion. And then I also have a way for you to deep dive on these seven systems and get a lot of other additional resources. I'll share that with you uh, when you stay till the end. But the first one is your team. And I'm going to, I did have training, like I mentioned, in Bariatric Business Boss. And I did a deep dive over a course of like 13 weeks on these seven systems. And I've actually packaged all these seven systems together. And I'm actually going to provide that as a separate product for you to get a little taste of what I do. And then if you end up wanting to do that for the no brainer price that I have, I'll share with you at the end, uh, you can actually apply that to membership if you want to, if you want to go along with us uh, over, the, over the next course of the next year, but your team is really critical. So this really involves, number one, hiring the correct people in the first place, onboarding them in a manner that helps them become a part of your team uh, and a productive part of your team and also then team building. And the key here is not to have one homogenous team. Having a variety of personalities and skill sets is really critical to uh, making sure that you can serve many different types of people and also just keep things interesting as well as gain more ideas. Too often, I think our teams are hired and they're just hired for one small thing, but I like to look at them in a variety of ways and look at all of their skill set because oftentimes they will actually be more engaged in your practice if they are challenged by different things to do, whether it's a part of your social media or whether it's a part of creating some of your your sales packages, whether it is putting together a new offering that you're going to uh, be including. So your team getting the right people there is so important. And you can do this in so many different ways. So in the the deeper dive, if you decide to deeper dive with me, I actually even have resources for you about how to do your self evaluations for your team when it comes time to evaluate their performance, job descriptions for office managers, nurse practitioners, medical assistants, medical receptionists, medical billers, and potential interview questions that help you make sure that you are bringing in the right people to join your team. So hiring is a big part of it. I do recommend a lot of hiring from word of mouth. Although you can get some great uh, candidates up elsewhere, a lot of times word of mouth is actually the best. I've even worked with practices who they really haven't been able to find somebody and we've even set up even a, a VA for them, a virtual assistant to get them going in the right direction, help with some of the projects. Onboarding is a big part of it. They need to see the vision from the physician all the way down. They need to see what's the history of this practice, what's the vision for the future, and have them experience a lot of the same things that your patients experience. Uh, here are all of our new uh, employees. Unfortunately for me, I have very little turnover. I have employees that have been with us for 20 years, 20 plus years. Uh, probably the, the shortest period of time somebody has been with us here is six years. They just don't end up leaving unless they weren't a good fit to begin with. And uh, we also recognize what their goals are and help to promote from within and challenge them in a variety of ways and reward them for their activities. So hiring is important, onboarding them, making sure that they understand the whole purpose of their position, how it impacts every other aspect of your practice, making sure that they, everyone understands that they are all your sales agents. They are all people who are your face to the community. And so making sure that that customer service is top notch is critical and including them so they can go through the patient's experience is helpful because they oftentimes can share things that maybe you've become a little bit more, you know, just used to. So they might bring something up about a way that people fill out their paperwork or a way that they, you know, come into the, the building or something that's uh, that you might have ignored. We even send all of ours to surgery with our surgeons so that they can see exactly what happens for weight loss surgery, what the patients experience. They go through with the webinars, the seminars, they go through all the pre-op education, they get access to all of the patient education materials. 
We allow any of our uh, employees, if they want to, to go through our medical weight loss program for free. We offer all of our products at uh, cost to them because we want them to know what they taste like. They want We want them to know how to promote that for, to our patients and really understand the benefit. And then finally, like team building. It's just so important. I'm fortunate here to have an office manager who is really really very uh, experienced at team building and really draws the team in. I have three different managers. They're all very skilled uh, at this. And it's really a sort of a dream come true as you work through that. So your team is your first system. And dare I say, one of your most critical systems, because this can make or break your practice. Because as I mentioned, they're your face to the community. They're the ones who keep your patients uh, you know, happy. They're the ones who need to be able to address concerns right up front without having to go up a ladder and delay a response to your patients who have, may have a question or a concern. They are critical, obviously, to your success. Next is your marketing. And your marketing, sometimes people they outsource this a little bit too readily because you know your patients. And I encourage physicians and their teams to look at who is it that they want to work with the most and then develop who that is that you enjoy working with, get that entire uh, vision in your head and direct your marketing to that person. And we all want to be all things to all people, but the reality is you're going to be happier and you're actually going to be more uh, profitable and have more patients if you do focus your marketing on those that you desire to serve the most. What do I mean by that? If uh, you really want to focus your efforts on weight loss surgery alone, then you focus on there. If you want to focus on cash pay uh, weight loss surgery, you focus your efforts there. You don't ignore everything else, but you do want to make sure that you know the types of patients that you enjoy working with. Perhaps that tends to be a certain, uh, you know, it could be lots of different things. You want to serve everyone, but you want to hone in on those people that you know are uh, going to benefit the most from your services. For us, that's somebody who generally is anywhere between 25 to uh, about 60 years of age. Uh, most of ours are females. We love our males. We love people who are motivated. So it can't be something where they came in begrudgingly and only because their doctor told them, do we want people motivated coming into our practice? We want people to have some skin in the game. We want them to understand the value of good customer service. We want them to be interested in the educational side of it, as well as the other tools that we give them. So your message is directed towards those that you want to serve the most. So you want Want to make sure that you're specifically have the right message. You want to make sure in terms of medium that you are actually out there uh, talking to these people where it is that they are hanging out, whatever social media platforms they're on, whatever groups they're in in your community, wherever uh, they are, go out there in that medium, whether it's social media, whether it's public speaking, whether it's a book that you're writing, that sort of thing. And then really looking at your market, you know, like I mentioned, to know who your market is and to be at marketing to the, to the right people. Social media has got to be a part of your plan. And it has never been so easy as, not as it is today for social media marketing. So I trained, I just was doing this with one of um, the physicians in Bariatric Business Boss. I just sat down, we were just going through uh, some of her videos, how to capture great videos, how to use low cost tech, how to take those, how to maximize them, how to get them out in a big way, how to then turn them into a blog and an audio in a podcast. I mean, we, we just go through all these details about how to take one asset, one social media piece that you create or I create for you and getting it out there in a big way. So social media cannot be ignored, especially I think so many practices have had to pivot a bit if they weren't really using social media, especially during this pandemic. Uh, fortunately, we had a lot of online things in place here. We had a lot of retail. We had a lot of other services. So when surgery was closed down for two months, we were okay because we had all these other things that were serving. We already had people coming to us, you know, two thirds of our patients came online. And so having those assets out there and having that set up and I, and that's even, I don't really spend any on uh, any money on outside marketing, maybe a couple Facebook ads, but really nothing to speak of. And it's all organic. So you can set that up and you need to have that as a part of your marketing program. Paid advertising, if it's working for you, I say go for it. Just make sure that you are always measuring your return on investment. And then how to create graphics, it's never been so easy, and video as well. So if you end up taking the deeper dive course, we get into this very, very specifically, and we also do that through Bariatric Business Boss. 
Ultimately, you may have heard me say this before if you've ever uh, viewed any of my other trainings, but your goal is to attract the ideal patients, build a really strong relationship with them, uh, convert them to a sale, have them become a raving fan because they see such success and they just love you and your practice, and then have them refer others. It becomes this wonderful cycle that really does help to create peace in your life and also predictable profits. So having this in place is really important. And this course I'm going to offer you as well as Barrett, your business boss, helps you develop this and create it within your particular practice. The other system that I talked about is uh, your finances. So your finances are critical. What you measure is what ends up being the biggest focus. Uh, so if you want to improve your profitability, you've got to be monitoring those numbers. If you want to improve your social media engagement, you've got to be monitoring those numbers. What emails are going out? What's the open rate? How many people are coming through uh, from your social media channels? Making sure that you know where your referrals are coming from. So your finances is the third in this uh, seven systems. Remember the first one was your team. The second one was your marketing. So what is your budgeting? Making sure that you have a budget in place. Now is the perfect time to be creating that for next year. But if you are starting mid-year, whenever it is that you're listening to this, it's, it's never too late. You need to get your budget in place so you know what your expenses are going to be and then you can reverse engineer what your revenue needs to be in order for you to meet your goals. Having separate profit centers, I always recommend tracking this separately. So for example, here we track our fitness uh, profit center separate from our retail profit center, separate from our medical weight loss profit center, separate from our surgical profit center. So we track all those separately. It all plays into one bigger picture, but it really can give you a great sense of where you're doing really well, where you're not doing very well. And then also sometimes, what do you need to delete? You can simplify your life and delete something that's actually causing a drain on your practice. Your finances, a big part of that also is your pricing, what's right for your current market, for your region of where you live, uh, making sure that your pricing is set properly and that you have added bonuses in there that makes it a no-brainer for the people purchasing. Next is billing and collections. I cannot share how important this is. I know you know this. I just spent yesterday, I spent nine hours with a particular practice working on their billing and collections because it was uh, backed up. And I that makes my skin crawl. It makes me, keeps me up at night. And they had very good reason for why that was happening. They were turning over to a new software system, but helping them through that was just something that brought me great pleasure. And I'll continue to help them because billing collections is that important. And then finally reporting, you have got to have accurate reporting reports. In the deeper dive part of the, the class, I actually give you uh, some spreadsheets that you need to use. I do reporting. There are certain things I track weekly. There are certain things that I track monthly, some things quarterly, and some things annually. You cannot wait to the end of the year. I know you know this, but you can't wait till then to then really take a good look at your numbers. You need to be on top of it. I, like I said, I track it every single week. I have a spreadsheet, we have our billing collections, we have all of our different resources, and then I have a team member who puts it all into a weekly report. It gives us real-time information. It gives me time to pivot with the team, it help have them help with brainstorming ideas on how to improve something. It's really critical. So your finances is that third system that is so important for uh, profitability and peace in your life. So the next one is your revenue streams. And I think this is where a lot of people were caught off guard during this pandemic. There weren't additional revenue streams. A lot of it relied solely on just surgery or solely on just the physician. And it created a huge hiccup for people. And I am not belittling the fact that this pandemic has been uh, you know, a nightmare for many people. And I, and it's been very difficult for so many businesses that were sort of on, on the edge of survival. It's been uh, really a struggle. And we have all experienced this. I mean, what I think March of this past year, I mean, I, I probably aged quite a bit. It's a matter of taking a deep breath, figuring out where we are, what can we do? And what can we salvage? What can we then enhance that was already in place? What can we create that wasn't in place that's going to serve our patients? How can we keep them moving in the right direction? And having those conversations was difficult. Uh, having to modify teams and perhaps furlough people, it was difficult. Uh, and it's not over, obviously. But having additional revenue streams does help with this aspect. So your revenue streams, and like I mentioned, I track them all separately. of surgery, programs and services that you have for medical weight loss, 
medications that you may use. Retail is a huge one that a lot of physicians do ignore, but should not ignore. Your patients need products. They need quality products that taste great. They need those from their physician. Otherwise, they're buying their purchasing subpar products out there anyhow. So you need to be in the forefront of this. You need to be providing with the ones that provide the correct macronutrient mix for them and uh, also provide the education that goes along with it. That will help differentiate you. And also creating online programs. It's never been as easy as creating online programs as it is today. So whether that's a turnkey program. I have a few turnkey programs through Weight Loss Practice Builder or, and there's other ones out there, uh, or whether it's something you create on your own. You can do that as well. You probably have a lot of the educational materials right there. So creating that, and it can be created in so many different ways. But having additional revenue streams is critical, of course, to your utmost profitability, as well as having peace of mind in your practice and enjoying it. The next one is retail sales. This is uh, our fifth system right now, retail sales, one that people do ignore. This is a picture of our storefront here. Granted, we are not like New York City where, um, I mean, real estate is expensive here, but it's not in, as it is in some places like that. But there are other ways to make this happen in your practice. I was just helping help to practice set this up in New York City, a couple in Florida, uh, some out west. It's something that can be done in so many different ways. And we even here started in uh, just selling it at the front desk with some pictures or some cabinets. And then we moved to an office that was turned into a retail store. And then we turned it into now a 1500 square foot actual retail store that does true fulfillment for e-sales um, and also on-site sales with events and everything. We've had to pivot, of course, but um, we're able to provide this for our patients and give them the opportunity to either have it shipped to their store, to their home, picked up at the door, or you know, come in uh, with social distancing and, and get what they need. So your products are really important, making sure that they're unique to you, unique uh, in terms of that you can't compete with big vitamin stores or uh, Amazon. You've got to have something unique in your area making sure that is something that tastes great. You want to make sure that you keep accurate inventory, that your PAR levels are proper so that you are not ending up with a product that is out of date. Uh, sales training for your team. Like I mentioned, I've done sales training. Uh, there's some right there in Barrett Dick Business Boss, the membership, and then also one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, I have a team here who is awesome at sales, actually way better than I am, but we put all the resources together to help other practices become very adept at that. Messaging your patients. Uh, text messages been become such a great resource for sales and just for every aspect of our practice. So messaging, whether it's email, phone, uh, snail, mail or text messaging is really important, getting the message out, having some rewards when they purchase with you, some, uh, you know, loyal customer rewards, birthday things. Uh, we always offer discounts for people after surgery. We uh, have packaged some things together and providing uh, online and on-site retail sales is really helpful. I'm not saying you have to do all this today, but to start is really, really helpful. And that the retail sales is a, uh, is a system that when set up properly runs without even the physician. You just have to say, go into the store and talk to so-and-so, talk to Sally, uh, here it's Kat, you know, or Tina, go in there, talk with them, then they take care of it. Or you have a little prescription pad, you check off what they need, they go out, they pick it up. And it is so simple and actually very beneficial for your patients. I did just did an entirely uh, new um, resource for practices to use on the benefits of uh, nutritional supplements. So how they save money, convenience, the better nutritional uh, uh, aspect of it. It increases people's uh, weight loss. It makes it faster. So helping people create that and jumpstart programs to get people into your uh, business is they're all, it's just a system that when it's set up properly can be a huge asset to your practice and one that doesn't require the physician. Your referral program is actually the sixth system and your referral program, this is your physicians referring to you, how to make sure that you are top of mind for them, that you are communicating back with them about their patient's care and their outcomes and their successes and that your patients are referring people to you. So we talked about that cycle earlier, but building this referral program 
uh, in the pro in the product that uh, I'm going to promote in a minute, you can actually gain access to some of the testimonial forms for your patients and some resources that you can use, but making this as easy as possible for physicians to refer to you to make sure that you're top of mind to meet with local organizations to share with your patients so that they are out there sharing the word. And when someone asks, gee, look great, we're how did you lose your weight? They are just right there ready to say where they lost their weight and why it's such a great program. So you want to make sure that your referral program, that's your sick system that can help create peace of mind for you and predictable profitability. It is the easiest way to increase your number of patients uh, because it doesn't involve you, but it does involve you creating the systems uh, for them to be happy, but having physicians excited about the outcomes that their patients are having with you and having patients raving about you and your products and services, it's a beautiful thing. They just send people to you. And then if you set up a referral program, you can, if you want to reward them, a lot of them aren't even asking for rewards, but it all starts with making sure you've got your reviews, your testimonials, and that you're sharing that out on your social media channels, that you're communicating well with your patients and with physicians and making it easy for them to make a referral to you. And then finally, the seventh system is your patient education. This is the one thing people don't think they need, but we all know that they do need it. So making their patient education experience easily digestible in small uh, doses, so to speak, with easy to understand handouts and videos and uh, accessible on their phone, making sure that they can get their patient education very easy. So online is important, on site is important, how you package your patient education, it can actually add to your bottom line. Line, and it also increases their sort of skin in the game and so their commitment, uh, how to keep them engaged, and then how to uh, promote through your patient education. You can promote some of your products. You can actually, you know, promote some of your other services, whether it's fitness or uh, some trainers that you have on your team. Your patient education is really important to get people uh, engaged in your program, help them understand how they're going to get their best outcomes, and then also what you have to offer that is in addition to what they may have purchased that can actually improve the, either the speed to their result uh, or the overall ability to not only lose weight, but keep it off for life. So your patient education is really important. So in summary, we've talked about the seven systems that create predictable profits and in your practice and peace of mind for you. Uh, the seven systems is your team, your marketing, your finances, your revenue streams, your retail sales, your referral program, and your patient education. And you may wonder why I separated retail sales from your revenue streams. It's because it's much more involved and it's just one of those things that you really, I needed to spend more time on. So I do separate that out, even though it is one of your potential revenue streams. So these seven systems, now is a great time to make sure that you are addressing addressing them so that you hit January uh, ready to roll. And I know I'm about to begin in business, Barrett Business Boss some more training on planning for 2021. But in the meantime, these seven systems are a very important part of your practice and getting these set up as much as you can do now will really help you hit the ground running in 2021. In addition, in this product, I have a bonus training. It's putting it all together in your practice, how to take all these systems, put them together in your practice. It's all readily available immediately upon purchase. Every, all the training is in there, all the resources are in there, and uh, it just makes it so easy. You also have e-coaching. You can email me at any time. And um, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting, we can do that as well. You just have to reach out to me. And I also have a bonus PDF because let's face it, the, the governors are talking about shutting us all down again. And it's an opening case of emergency, a guide to future-proofing your practice. So I've taken the best things that worked really well when everything happened with the pandemic. I've combined it all into one document for you that you can open in case of emergency. So I've got that guide as a bonus in with this as well. And so it is all ready and waiting for you immediate access right now. It's only $2.97. So for you, those of you who have followed along with me and have always wondered about working together, this is a great way to test the waters. If you decide that you want to also gain access to all the Bariatric Business Boss monthly uh, calendars that I have, I do weekly tips 
tip sheets that have recipes and articles that you can use right away to engage with your patients. It also has inspirational quotes. I have monthly, every single, every single week I have those. Every single month I do your whole social media calendar for you, what to address in your social media. You never have to wonder what to say. It also includes ready to use graphics that you just put your, and I even train you in the membership on how to put your um, logo or your URL at the bottom. You can post it out there in your site. Anyhow, you never have to wonder you or your team on what to post on social media ever again. So you can gain access, like I say, to all these seven systems training along with the two bonuses. The one is putting it all together in your practice. And then the other one was the PDF of open in case of emergency. It's all immediately accessible for you and your team right now, only 297. It is really one of those sort of no brainer things. And it can help you be very well positioned for next year. Like I say, there's lots of uh, downloadable resources in there too. It includes, uh, you know, the interview questions, uh, different things that you should do when you're uh, doing your, your performance appraisals. There's job descriptions in there. There is a retail store in a box there. It's just chock full with resources for you. So please join me. I look forward to uh, having you as a part of that. And let's do this. Let's get ready for an awesome 2021. If you have questions for me or want to ask me something specific about membership or about this program, it's Carol uh, K-A-R-O-L at weightlosspracticebuilder.com. I will also, uh, you can probably see the link here to get to uh, purchase that program and I'll also have it uh, down below. But please make sure if you are interested in starting 2021 really strong, you want to look at these seven systems and how to improve them in your practice for predictable profits and some peace of mind for you and your team, please, I welcome you to join me. And uh, if you have questions, once again, Carol, K-A-R-O-L at weightlosspracticebuilder.com. I hope you enjoyed this free training. If you do nothing else, just take this and apply it into your practice. And I know that you um, will help, it will gain additional success for you. In the meantime, I love what you're doing every day for your patients. I am here for you and uh, just reach out. In the meantime, like I say, uh, keep doing what you're doing so well with your patients and take care.